good day everybody i hope that you're fine and everything is good and let's start our lesson as usual my first question is what day is it today yes today is tuesday the 19th of may 2020 please pause the video and write down the date in your copybooks Okay, and now let's move to the story, Little Red Riding Hood. Let's read the story together. First, Little Red Riding Hood set off for Grandma's house with a basket of cookies. Second, Little Red Riding Hood met with Big Bad Wolf. Then, the wolf ran to Grandma's house, put on her nightgown and waited for Little Red Riding Hood. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood realized the wolf was in her grandma's bed and ran out of the house. Afterwards, Little Red Riding Hood shouted for help and a woodcutter heard her calling. Finally, the woodcutter came and scared the wolf away. This is the end of the story. Now you can see the words first, second, then, soon afterwards and finally today we are going to talk about them we call them transition words and today we are going to talk about time and sequence words they help us to keep our stories organized and flowing smoothly by writing about the events in order and now let's have a closer look so these are time and sequence words. Let's read them and translate. Before, do, after, после, afterwards, позднее, then, затем, next, потом, first, во первых, second, во вторых, finally, в конце концов, soon, скоро, later, позже. As you can see, some of the words are synonyms. Как вы можете видеть, некоторые слова являются синонимами друг друга. So, your task now is to write down the words and their translation. Uh, so, pause the video, write them down in your copybooks, and then come back. And now the exercise. Check yourself. Match the words and its translation. You're gonna do this exercise orally, so you don't need to write anything down. Just pause the video and think, do you know how to translate these words? Can you find their translations? And then come back, we're gonna check it together. And now let's check them together. So, first, во-первых, second, во-вторых, finally, в конце концов, before. До, after, после, afterwards, позднее, later, позже, then, затем, next, потом, soon, скоро. So, exercise number three. You need to number the sentences in each group to put the events in order. You can see two groups, A and B, and some sentences in them. You need to write them down in your copybooks in the correct order. So please, put the video on pause, think about your answers, write them down, and then come back and we're gonna check them together. Okay, so let's start checking group A. First we looked in my room, then we searched Tom's room, and finally we found our ball in the backyard. Group B. First, I started taking guitar lessons last year. After just a few days, I could play some chords. Then, I learned to play some simple songs. Now, I can play the guitar pretty well. So, this is the right order of the sentences. Let's move to the next exercise. So, exercise 4 for you. Add a time and sequence word to the beginning of each sentence to order the events. You can see three sentences. Let's read them together. The gap, propusk. I went on a camping trip with my family. We went for a long hike in the woods. 
I found a raccoon eating the candy bar my little sister left in our tent. So your task is to fill in the gaps with time and sequence words, words what do you think are suitable here. So use only your imagination and memory and materials for today's lesson, of course. So write down your answers in your copybooks and we won't check this exercise together. So let's move to the next slide. And this was the last exercise for today. So your tasks for today. Task number one. Do the tasks one, three, and four in your copy books. Task number two. Do the task from the attached pile. And task number three. Upload your work to dnig.ru or classdojo. As usual, thank you very much for your attention. Have a nice day. Stay safe and goodbye.